And today is 209-0729, and let's start the, the whole weekly analysis. Uh, before we start on the analysis on the charts, uh, so let me just uh, highlight several economic news or financial events that we are going to have for this week. All right. Uh, Oops, I s mm -hmm. okay, wait a minute. Let me turn on my VPN. Looks like it keeps uh, telling me to go to the Chinese website. Okay, never mind. So, uh, trading view also provide the economic calendar. All right. So, uh, let me just uh, this will be the CPIs and the consumer. Okay. <clears throat> So uh, we're going to have the Australian CPI index on July 31st. And uh, there will be an unemployment rate for the Germany consumer price. Uh, let me just filter it. Okay, here we go. So we'll go to investing.com and we click Economic calendar. <clears throat> it's always good to find out those uh, financial events before we really start to plan our weekly trade. Okay, so let's click the, this week. And let me choose Singapore time here. All right, <clears throat> so here we go. So Tuesday we have a Japanese uh, uh, industrial industrial production, uh, which is not so important. The money the monetary policy statement. Okay, we have some uh, effects on the yens. So if you have any yen trade, please uh, look carefully uh, on the Tuesdays. So uh, will be eleven a.m. in the morning of the Asia time. Okay, and we have the PCE. Okay, P the PCE uh, deflator of the U.S. states and the core PC price. Okay, on Tuesday night, eight thirty. If this price, uh, if this figure is uh, less than expected, the dollar will be weak. Okay, and we have the Australian CPI <coughs> on Wednesday, and most importantly, on Wednesday we have the uh, ADPs. Okay, and also the <clears throat> FOMC meetings. Okay, so FOMC meetings for this month, the market has already put into this forecast that the Fed is going to cut the rate for at least 25 basis points. So what does this impact the, the market? Basically, it will tell you the Fed cannot sustain the high interest rate as they did in the, from the past two years, they keep rising the rate, right? Okay, but if the Fed is not going to <clears throat> tell the market that they are going to start the new round of the interest rate cut, then I think this will be a minor effect for the dollar because the market has already priced in 
Okay, so what does it mean by pricing? Do 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 you guys have any any <clears throat> any idea what is pricing? Yeah, my question: What is pricing? The pricing basically means the market okay, already anticipates what will happen, and the price okay will uh, already adjust based on the incoming news. So this is this price in. So normally, what happened is okay if the if the event finally released and tells everybody that yeah the Fed cut the rate by twenty five basis point because everyone has already know that and the market has more than two months for the preparation of the dollar interest rate cut. So what do you think? The dollar is going to move. Where, which, which direction <clears throat> the dollar is going to move, guys? Can you guess? The market already anticipates that the Fed is going to cut the rate. Okay? And we do see <clears throat> the market act, react on this incoming news. Okay? The dollar has a deep drop. Okay? Has a deep drop first. And the second round of job, but right now, it comes all the way back. Okay. All right. So if the Fed, okay. So let me just put a conclusion. Okay. So we have two scenario. Okay. Scenario one, the Fed cut rate by zero point two five percent. Then. DXY is likely to go up. Scenario two, Fed cut rate by 0.50%. Then the DXY will go down because that is more than expected. Right? Understand? All right. So, uh, I would like to you guys to focus on what is the real result of the FOMC meeting and uh, look uh, closely of the <clears throat> the press conferences. And you ha we have to know that whether the Fed is going to, you know, to cut the rate some more or one more time in this year. If not, okay, the market has already priced in. So the DXY may not drop. And hence, Hence, if the DXY, if this scenario happens, all right, if scenario one happens, what will happen to the gold? Gold? Going up or going down? If the dollar maintains strong, the gold is likely to go down. All right, so. Let's look at the gold chart. Okay, uh, from the daily chart, we can see that the the gold, all right, after making a reversal from the one four fifty eight, and it makes a engulfing candle afterwards, and then the gold has been sideways for the whole week, in the last week, and today. The gold trying to push up, but it failed, right? We can see a lot of rejections, okay, from the 1430 from here. All right, let's just count how many pings we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, right? The price is rejected from 1430. And we look left. Do you see similar rejection for the last time? Right? We do, right? Okay, and we go to four hour chart. We can find that there are two bearish moves from the gold, which is first wave here, second wave is here. And in four hour chart, the gold has already created a new low. And more importantly, okay, the gold has been bro broken these trend lines, right? This will be the uptrend line. And if I draw the line together, 
right? We can almost confirm that this is a false breakup. Okay, this is a false breakup because it goes up and cannot sustain and come down all the way back. And now this triangle was broken. Okay, so uh, I will be looking for opportunities to sell the gold, especially when the FOMC meetings finished and trying to find a pullback to sell the gold. Okay, then we're going to <coughs> find where is the best place to sell. Okay, so from the chart, right, it already released a clue. Okay, we can see the whole wave coming down from the top to the, to the swing low. Okay, of course, the number one selling place will be the 618 level plus the left structure. Okay, so this will be a very good place to sell. So I will just mark it as <clears throat> this will be the first sell. Number one, okay. Number two, if the gold will break new low and pull back, now we can sell again. So look of this structure, which is 1410, all right? If the price break down 1410, pulls back, we can sell, okay? So this is, will be the number two. Is there any other chance? Any other place we want to highlight? Yeah, the trend line, okay? So you can use the trend line. Uh, I will draw from the, the previous uh, breaking, the origin of the bullish move, right? You can draw this trend line as well, right? So you can also use the trend line retest Okay, to sell. But this one, because the trend line is uh, are <clears throat> is going up, right? So we we're not sure. We're not. We cannot be sure that which place it actually really touch. Okay, so uh, maybe it's a zero point five place or zero point three eight two place. All right, we don't know. So this one I will put at uh, the third place. <clears throat> to consider too short. Are you clear? Okay, so I have already gave you guys three possible scenarios for you guys to catch the sale of the gold. Any questions? Any questions? Understood, right? Good. Okay, <clears throat> so here is uh, all we want to plan for the trading setups of the code. Okay, one, two, and three. All right, good. I'll go for euro. <clears throat> euro dollar uh, is sitting under horizontal supporting structure from 1.11 and it, it looks uh it makes a force uh a pain on the last thursday ecb news right so uh and retest the 1.1190 and now it's uh, looks consolidate around this area all right so my view for the euro is okay if this consolidation was finished okay you can see here, this, uh, the price has already broken the triangle's upper edge, right? So this actually indicates that we can buy the euro, right? You can either choose a, a small pullback of 1.1120 and buy by the euro and aim 1.1160 and 1.12, okay? Why is 1.12? Because look left, this is the past breaking points of their supporting structure. So uh, we may find a lot of sellers will be waiting for the euro to sell here, okay? 
So our buy of the euro, okay, you can have two TPs. The first TP is 1.1160, second TP is 1.12, the round, the round number. Okay, so uh, let's go to 30 minute charts. Maybe we can catch this opportunity for today because we can just simply use the 618 level, right? Okay, so wait for a 618 to buy euro from 1.120, stop loss below 1.1099, okay? Your stop loss is here. And we, the trading setups is a triangle breakup and 618 pullback. Understand or not? Are you clear? Are you ready? So get ready to buy the euro from 1.1120. Okay, stop loss 1.1099, aim 1.1160 and 1.12. Okay, reply me by five if you catch the trade setups. Great. Okay, let's go for the sterling. <clears throat> Sterling has a very, very huge drop today, right? The market put some anticipation for this uh, hard break exit, okay? Hard break exit means the, the, the UK is not going to pay any money to the Euro and they want to leave the Euro zone by itself, okay? So again, I feel that this is kind of uh, fears, you know, the market are fears. Of so scared of the, of the pre exit, all right. But if we really look at the chart and we look left in the daily chart, okay, where are the sterling? It's somewhere here, okay, somewhere here, which is in 217 March, all right. <clears throat> I still remember in last year, sorry, in two years ago, in, in uh, uh, January. On the January 16th, all right, this gap, if you remember, okay, this gap was created by the same fears of the pre exit. And on the day, okay, the, the sterling gaps down, open at here, okay, and then it shoots back immediately, okay. So, and the, then the market have a secondary test. <coughs> of the previous dominating move, okay? And then the sterling creates a very strong bullish move all the way to 1.43, okay? So here we are, we are at the same level, okay? Of the 217s March. <clears throat> and let's put a study here and identify what kind of patterns we have, right? Can we see our structure is right here acting as a neckline for the study? Do you think so? It's kind of a double bottoms. All right, the neckline was broken and retested by this pin, okay? And then it goes up all the way. Is this a double bottoms? 